What's up fellow YouTubers, Nico Bowie Reviewer here, coming at you with another edition of a Bowie Review. <coughs> Excuse me. This time I've got a really, really fine example of a Bowie knife. Exceptional quality, exceptional quality, exceptional detail, um, exceptional fit and finish. It's the Cudman 106C. Now I think I'm saying that right, because I'm not too sure if it's Cudman or Cudman. I'm going to say Kudman, Kudman, Kudman. So the Kudman 106C um, Bowie knife. Now, this is the box that comes in here. Nothing fancy. This says Kudman on the front with their um, trademark elephant logo. Some words in Spanish there. More words in Spanish with the sporting knife. Um, we'll just get the box out of the way. I don't know if I'll be keeping the box. But... Oh, there is one thing in the box that you get with it. This Cuban has put in a little booklet just to show off some of their other knives. Oh, that's a hatchet and, a, and another drop point knife there. Um, and it's, uh, I believe it's a declaration from the general manager and his signature. So that's a nice touch. Don't say that in a lot of knives. Um, get right to the knife itself. That's the knife in sheath, as you can see. Beautiful looking sheath. And we'll get to that stagler ant. That, we'll get to that stag antler um, handle in a moment. But we will look at the sheath first, as I always do. We're going to have a quick look at the knife. And it is a beautiful knife. It is probably one of the finest examples of Bowie knives I've owned. I've, or I've got in my collection. There it is there. The, the, the fit and finish is just exceptional. Attention to detail. Awesome. Get to that soon. So the sheath on the front, um, it's double stitched. Genuine leather, of course. You got your belt strap at the back. Um, fastening strap here with single um, button clip. Um, interesting to note that on the button clip, it does have some inscribings on there. It's going to be hard to pick up on the camera, I know. But there is some, some inscribings there. You might see it a bit better there. And it says www.cuban.com and then Spain and then some words in Spanish. So that's obviously a nice touch and again, attention to detail. Um, got, that's the front, the rear, single stitch bolstered in by two heavy duty rivets and we'll just stick the knife in the sheath this knife is made in Spain by the way, all Cuban knives are made in Spain that's, their, um, that's where they come from it goes in nice and tight and right at the end you just got to push it and the fastening strap is pretty loose but the knife stays in there tight and it is what you want. You don't expect it with this sort of loose-ish fastening strap but it it stays in there tight which is which is very good which is what we want which is what I like to see um, and yeah um, that's that that's the sheath so very nice sheath very simple very simple design, just the, the just the Cuban logo, as you can see on the front there, and the nice sort of tan stitching. It's like a brown, genuine leather. So it, it looks good. It looks nice, nice and clean. So we'll get to the we we'll get to the handle. This is exceptional. I don't know how to put it, but it is exceptional. Stag antler, they're calling it, and it's been polished up. 
Now mine's, mine's this sort of this white oaky colour as you can see there so it's genuine stag antler I don't know if you can see the light that it, it is polished the, it is actually polished up um, so full tank construction as you can see down the back of the blade there light array wound full tang construction um, you've got two um, I guess you call them they're, they're, really, they're calling them heavy duty stainless steel um, uh, steel bolts or bolstering caps and there's a third hole here for a lanyard which is a nice touch um, it's got something I haven't, well, I, I have sort of seen before, but I'm, I've never known what they're for. If I go on this angle here, you can see on the stainless steel handguard, which, which mind you, is brilliantly, brilliantly, um, machined. Um, there's two holes on either side. I'm not, I did a little quick internet search, I couldn't come up with anything, so I'm sorry. I'll have to find that out for you at a later date. Um, I'm looking at the handle. Um, but uh, yeah, not too sure what they're for, but stainless steel handguard. And like I said, it, it's well machined, like it's, it's smooth. Um, it feels really, really strong. Like it, it just feels like it's not going to move. I'm not going to, it's just, yeah, it feels really strong. Um, Well, I think that's about it on the um, on the on the handle. Like I said, it's a very impressive handle. Let's have a look there. That stag antler. Very impressive. And how does it feel in the hand? I got to say, it, it's. It, it could be more sort of ergonomic. Um, I know you won't, wouldn't be doing too much. Well, when I say, when I say too much, it's 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 comfortable to hold. Like it feels good in the hand. But it would have been nice to seen the stag and the grooves a bit more to the hand. But if that's my only complaint, other than that, it's comfortable smooth like it, it is smooth it is it has been polished but in the hand it doesn't feel like it's going to slip out it it feels good weighty knife really weighty knife and then we get to the business end the blade i'm going to carefully hold this up because this knife is extremely sharp so overall length is 38 centimeters or 14.9 inches blade length 25 centimeters or 9.8 inches so quite quite a decent size bowie knife mid to large size bowie knife um, it's made of what's called what What's coming out of Spain is called Mova steel. Um, I believe I believe it's similar to 440C stainless steel, but of a higher density and of a higher quality. Um, I'd have to, I'm not 100% sure, but I know it's similar to 440C stainless steel. But this is a Mova stainless steel, um, which is prominent on many Spanish knives these days. Um, as you can see. There's the Hudeman logo there, and what was that? Was that something? Yeah, it's all in Spanish, and it's got the it's got the um the the trademark elephant logo. Let's give you another look there. Very very the fit and finish on this knife is extremely 
well done. Um, well, where, where was I? Blade thickness. Incredibly thick blade. Five millimeters. Yeah, you, you heard me. I'm double checking my notes. It, it is. It's five millimeters thick. So it goes from thicker to thinner on, along the spine. Um, five millimeters, incredibly thick. This thing was designed to really cut through some decent chunks of wood, and decent branches or whatnot. Um, this thing was designed to designed for some hefty cuts, and that brings me to the weight where it's 513 grams, or for you people. In USA land, it's 18.09 ounces, so that is a weighty, a weighty knife, weighty knife. Um, the hollow ground, as you can see there. Now it's got this foot. I think it's what's called a swedge. It comes down the top of the blade here. This part's not sharp, by the way, and it can't be sharpened. It's, it's a it's a blunt clip point. Well, not, I don't, it's not, well, it's a clip point, but it, you can, it's a, you can, this part is not sharpenable. Um, what else? What else is there? That that pretty much brings me. To the end of the video, or to the end of the, to the end of the specs. How do I feel about it? I haven't tested it myself. I've only cut, I've only cut white paper with it, which is what I'll show you now, just to give you an idea of the sharpness of this blade. Incredibly sharp, and it came to me, came to me like this from a place called on a plate an online shop called Knife Shop Australia, who I must shout out to. They gave me a great discount on this Cuban 106C. So Knife Shop Australia, thank you, thank you for the great deal, and thank you for the kind customer service that I've got when purchasing this knife. We'll have a look again. Sit there and do that all night long. It's it, it's extremely fun. <laughs> I should know. It's it's just got a certain feeling to it when you know it's that sharp and it can slice shred through paper that well. Um, if I was to give this knife a rating based on based on the specs and well, just based on the fit and finish. I'd give it an eight and a half out of ten. I wanted to give it a nine, but I feel I feel like the handle lets it down a bit, where it just doesn't feel doesn't feel doesn't feel exactly like it doesn't feel like it's going to slip out, but it doesn't it doesn't also doesn't feel like it's going to stay in there if you if it got a bit damp or it got a bit wet and it, it got you know got a bit slippery, but fit and finish overall. Yeah, eight and a half out of ten. Um, kudos to Cudman. This is the 106C Bowie knife. So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe link below. Uh, there should be one on the corner of your screen, or just hit the hit the one below um, the video if you want to see more of these. I kept forget forgetting to mention that in a lot of my videos to hit subscribe. If you want to see more of these videos, you've got to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Um, so yeah, that's Nico, Bowie Reviewer, signing out on the Cuban 106C. 
just get one more look at that beautiful knife. Till next time, see you later guys.